Are you ready for the future? Uh, I, I definitely am, because I, I'd like time to just pass for a while and for a certain thing to stop happening. But yeah, we're going to have a look at, apparently, we're going to see some PlayStation 5 stuff. Yeah, I think it's going to be Mark, Mark Cerny showing off the stuff. I don't know why the webcam quality is really bad at the moment. Basically, as soon as I start trying to go live recently, everything wets the bed. But uh, yeah, that webcam looks absolutely dreadful for some reason. Not sure why. I'm going to have to tinker with that. <laughs> Things just keep going a bit weird lately. Let's have a look why this is doing what it is doing. There we go. Is that better? Hey, there we go. That's that's fine. I'll, I'll work with that. That'll have to do. I'm still getting used to this webcam, which is on a tripod and stuff. And whee, look. Also focus, I think. Right, so this is starting shortly. <laughs> Apparently it's a uh, it's a premiere rather than a uh, actual live stream. If it was a live stream, you can imagine it'll be at least twenty minutes late because it's a Sony thing. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'm live. I should be. It just says begin shortly. I'll make sure the volume is as loud as it is because it's going to be a lot of chatter. Basically, this is a GDC thing. Oh yeah, it's definitely a premiere because it's got that music. So yeah. Um, I don't know if this is going to actually show off much, it might even just be Mark Cerny going, oh, teraflops, but I guess we'll soon find out, there might be games, there might be, I can't see there being much in the way of games, maybe tech demos, but I don't know, I just thought it's, it's, it's on, so I might as well live stream it. <laughs> I did want to do that Indie World thing yesterday, but, uh, you know, the Nintendo Indie World Direct thingy, but, uh... I had to go into work for the last time in a while because uh, the place I work at shut down today for the foreseeable future. So you're probably going to see me doing a lot more live streams at the moment. So yeah, I did want to get this started a few minutes earlier, but as I say, I had to reset my computer. My PVR keeps dying. I think my I think my Hapooj PVR is dying a death. Once this starts, I'll see if there's subtitles. If there's uh, closed captions, I'll turn them on just in case you can't hear it properly. But we'll see how it goes. So yeah, PlayStation 5. Let's please show it. <laughs> show us something other than the logo. Because that's literally all we've got at the moment is a logo. And I think a couple game announcements. Which look like they were like looter shooters. This might be pretty loud, but then this Premiere thing is pretty loud every time. Right. Hey, hi there Shove Gamer. Yeah, no, I ended up watching it uh, in the pub after work yesterday and yeah, I didn't miss much. There was no Spelunky, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Those things... Oh. Right, this is starting. Oh, this okay. thingy. This PlayStation oh, yes. thingy. I don't really know what it's going to be oh. yet. I think it's like a GDC talk. Oh wow, pitch quality is bad. Let's see if I can... Do something about that. It's, it's right. also very I'm, quiet. I'm here, it's just I'm cleaning like bird poo off of our garden chairs. <laughs> you shouldn't have to let me. <laughs> uh, is there close captions? No, there isn't. Alright, well, I'm going to crank this up so you can actually hear people. Apparently, this was for GDC. There he is. There's the Cerny. Today, I want to talk a bit about our goals for the PlayStation 5 hardware and how they yeah, this is about the hardware. development of the console. I think so they, they did a similar thing for console the PlayStation 4 when that came out. Five so or six or seven years. We'll see how this goes. Let us know if you can hear the Cerny man and his lovely, gentle voice. Hopefully not too overwhelming. And soon there's games that could never have been created before. PlayStation. Now, it used to be that as a console designer, four? you'd somehow intuit what would be the best set of capabilities for the new console, and then build it in complete secrecy. For the PlayStation it's console, so that period lasted through PlayStation 3, a powerful and oh. groundbreaking console, but also one that caused quite a lot of <laughs> as it was initially difficult to develop games for. So, oh, so she's getting the hose out. <laughs> Basically, we've had a lot of birds sitting in the tree in our garden and they crack all over our chair and deck out. 
listening to developers. Yeah, I suspect this isn't going to be very like exciting, but we'll see. They might show some stuff. They've got to show something. All I can hear is that who owes right now. The game creators matter. Anything we can do to make life easier for the game creators or help them there's, realize their dreams, we will do. shenanigans so, going about on. about once every two years, I take a tour of the industry. I go to the various I fly around the world because I'm rich. And discuss how they're doing with the current consoles and what they like to see. And I work for a big, multi This requires global weeks on the road company. reaching the bulk of the game creators involves talking to well over a hundred people. A <laughs> devolver like digital stream without the blood. And it is incredibly valuable. So far, it's by just the way, a map. the feature most <laughs> requested by the developers that was an SSD, which we were very uh, happy to put in well, the hardware. Well, we know it's got, I think we pretty much knew it was going to have an SSD. I'll be doing a deep dive on the SSD. As in one of those solid state drive thingies, which are faster. It's also key to make a generational leap while keeping the console sufficiently familiar to game developers. I think about this in terms of balancing yeah. evolution yeah. and revolution. We'll see. Now, with PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, the target was a revolution oh, we'll time with a no. brand new feature set. That was great in many ways, but time for the developers to get up and running got longer with each console. In the past, I've called this time to triangle. Here's what I had for those three consoles. To be clear, I realize I didn't have the color correction on. There we go. That looks like a little bit there. Ambitious, and it may take them six years or so to realize their vision. What I'm talking about wow, is one that to two dead months. time. Is that like development time of games on each system? And trying to minimize. Now it's more like three years. On the other hand, if we're trying to reduce that dead time to zero, that means the hardware <laughs> architecture can't change at all. We're handcuffed. We need to judge for each feature what value it adds and whether it's worth the increase in Which development. Which will show off your Sony laptop there. So with PlayStation 4, we were able to strike a pretty good balance between performance and familiarity. We got required learning back to PlayStation 1 levels. With PS5, Especially after our PS3, how was was that was apparently programmed for. Between adding new features and keeping a familiar program. Ultimately, I think we've ended up with something... <laughs> That's the console. It's a PS5 <laughs> logo. There you go, it's revealed. <laughs> The PS5 console is just a PS5 logo that you stick on your shelf. <laughs> it's also very important. With the PlayStation 6, you'll be able to make games before you even think of them. The, the console will just already have them. The increase in graphics performance over the past two decades. All Konami games. Uh, I heard a rumor that they were talking about maybe trying to revive Silent Hill or Silent Hills or something like that. So and yeah, that SSD actually wouldn't shock me. Like if Sony even brought out Konami, that would be pretty crazy. Make a new Twin B. The biggest feature and a new Parodius. Is the custom or just yeah. Audio. That's today's final Do some kind of collection. The push for vastly improved audio, in particular 3D audio, isn't something that came out in the developer meetings. It's much more the case that we had a dream. We have purchased Konami. Five years from now, and we worked out the number of steps we could take to set us on that path. Nah, that's all right. So here yeah. again are the three principles. The first natural light is good enough. The, oh, sorry, oh. <laughs> the worst is <laughs> to me the SSD really is the key to the next generation. It's a, a game changer, and it was the number one ask oh. of developers for PlayStation Five. I mean, As that doesn't really surprise me. The X. The new Xbox has one of those, I presume. <laughs> that was a discussion we were also having internally. It was clear that the presence of a hard drive in every PlayStation 4 was having a positive impact. A lot of things that would simply have been impossible at Blu-ray disc speeds were not possible. At the same time, though, in 2015 and 2016, when we were having these conversations, developers were already banging developers, up against the developers, limits of the hardware. Developers, 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 developers! A lot of developer time was being spent designing around slow load speeds. Don't expect that kind of info. I want to focus here. in on just one number here, which is how long it takes to load a gigabyte of data from a hard drive. The difficulty being <laughs> that hard drives yeah. are neither particularly fast nor flexible. If all your data is in one block, which is... Frankly, He's going to explain to us what an SSD is. <laughs> I think we know. <laughs> I think a lot of people know by now what an SSD is. <laughs> it's the more expensive but faster hard drive. Because it doesn't have like a little ticky thing in it. <laughs> That's about my knowledge. 
We support Zlib decompression on PlayStation 4 that gets you something like 50% more data on the disk and 50% higher effective read speed. Unfortunately, though, it's highly likely that your data is scattered around in various files on the hard drive, as well as sourced from multiple locations within those files. So lots of seeks are needed at 2 to <laughs> yeah. 50 ish. They should just go back to cartridges. <laughs> My rule of thumb is that the this is SSD drive with the game on it. The game is only a thousand gigabytes. Here you go. And just plug it in. Putting all of that they will cost a, a fortune. <laughs> very roughly 20 seconds to load. It makes me wonder if this is even going to use discs. Now, if it's backwards compatible with PS4, it much. must be using a Blu-ray drive or a 4K Blu-ray so drive. Boot times and load times can get pretty grim. Or to put that differently, as a player, you pretty wait for the game to boot, wait for the game to load, wait for the level to reload every time you die, and you wait for what is euphemistically called fast travel. And all of that fast leads to the dream. What if we could have I know they did that see, thing where they were showing off the PS4 Spider-Man game supposedly running on a PS5 and how much quicker it could do the fast travel and stuff. I know now, they showed off something like that. They don't have seeks as such. If you have a 5 gigabyte a second... That's SSD, true, yeah. The only thing with SSDs is like... They're, well, even HDDs are not exactly like timeless, but... Yeah, you're right. It'll probably make it a bit more perishable, which is a bit of a curse for it. Two gigabytes, and the answer is about a quarter of a, a second. Weird. That's amazing. We're talking quite of orders of magnitude, meaning put some more oomph into it, man. I know, I know, your marks are in. Gentleness is your thing, but a second for the SSD whoa, look at that. Whoa, <laughs> we go through space. <laughs> game just fades down while loading. <laughs> and fades back Ooh, up. We do it Same again. for a reload. Here, is that bit from that film? And fast travel becomes so fast that film. that blinking. <laughs> I and forgot the name. Of. We go from trying to distract the player from how long fast travel is taking, like those Spider-Man subway rides. The film with the monkeys so throwing sticks at a, might even a, have to a, slow a, a PS2. <laughs> Pretty cool, uh, right? But for me, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. The primary reason for an ultra-fast SSD is that it gives the game designer freedom. Or to put that video yeah. on a hard drive, the 20 seconds that it takes to load a gigabyte can sabotage the game that the developer is trying to create. Sabotage. I think almost all of us in the room have experienced this. Maybe. Oh, the graphics are terrible. Say we're making an adventure game when we have two yeah. rich environments. This is this is the first game they're showing off. It looks awful. Which you can do as long as is it is it Minecraft too? Elevator ride. Right now there's like it's not just squares. Now there's like yeah. edges. Like slopes. Uh, um, 2001. That's the one. Having a 30 second <laughs> elevator ride is a that little bit more realistic than um, world into a number of small pieces and then do some calculations. Sight lines that, and runs yeah, like as rendered work. in a PS1. Oh, look, Jack 2, Haven City. Years old, oh, so he's showing off maps pieces. from old games. All those twisty passages are there for a reason. There's a whole you should just put the Doom maps up and be like, this is what games so used to be like. This is what they're like now. This is a straight line. <laughs> fit the graphics. So when I yep. talked about the dream of an SSD, part of the reason for that 5 gigabyte a second target... That tricks 2 confirmed. But also part of the I'll take it. I'll take it. Streaming. I'd actually As love to see a Fetrex Mini. So like if they made like a miniature the version of the Fetrex that just has all the games built in and you could just everything use it and it just works. That'd be if great. You that, it takes half a second to turn Who even owns the Fetrex anymore? <laughs> like, right is it abandoned where at this point? Back to the hard drive. Another strategy for this is more squares. Is to make big sequential chunks of data. For example, we might group all the data together for each city block. Sorry that about removes the most taps and stuff. <laughs> and the streaming gets faster. But the there's a downside stuff is happening. too, which is that frequently yeah, used data is included in many chunks and therefore is on the hard drive many, many times. Marvel Spider-Man uses this strategy, and though it works uh, very well for increasing the streaming speed, there's a massive Green. duplication as a result. Some of the objects like These mailboxes or news racks no, are on the hard drive 400 times. What I'm describing yeah. here are things that cramp a creative I almost Either I thought I heard something happening. <laughs> or the data uh, is just yeah, about to store it out. And the bit of that um, soapy solution. And you end up with hard limits on the player's run speed or driving speed. The player can't go faster than the load speed. 
from cars. Well, yeah, I'd have a shower. <laughs> and finally, I'm sure many of you have noticed that after the patch download, the PlayStation this is terribly exciting. Come on, stop. I don't really know if this is salt or hype in any way. It, it can't really be either, because I can't really be salty about it. Oh, it does! <laughs> Crystal <laughs> Maze. Yeah, that, you know, the framework and the yeah. Otherwise, yeah. every change would add a seek. Work. It's going to tuck us in for five even minutes. Even so, you can occasionally yeah. see this happening on game titles. They start I mean, yeah, I don't even know why I did this as a salt or hype, SSD, because there's no, nothing to be so salty no about. We pretty much knew this was going to be a technical analysis and not like a, no, here it is, this is the PS5, look at it, look at the games. I, I really don't think we're getting any of that today. <laughs> I haven't got my glasses on because the Sophie solution went on my glasses as well, so it's that as well. By the time you realise you need a piece of data, it's much too late to go out and load it. So system memory oh, has to better than a broken leg, I suppose. Uh, yes. <laughs> that it's is considerably better than a broken leg. <laughs> Why would you even I think that? Just waiting there to be I'd rather you didn't break your leg, please. On PlayStation 5, though, the SSD is very close to being, like, more rare. Yeah, Typically, it's fast. I mean, can we see the PlayStation 5? If I still have to go to work, then I will. Yeah, no if you do. Lots of data parked in system Unlike my job, yours probably will keep, keep going. A different way of saying that is that most mm, of the maybe. land is working <laughs> on the game's behalf. This is one of the reasons that 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 feels right for PlayStation 5. The presence of the SSD reduces the need for a massive intergenerational. Oh, input. yeah, I suppose Hasbro owns the Vectrex, so technically, if they even know they the own SSD. it. Here's the set of targets. Dream of the SSD. Put the game in a second. Oh. No load screens. Designed for so the like no twist pony game on a Vectrex mini if they put one out. More games like on the Vectrex and ponies. more games on the SSD. Yeah, sure. Ponygon. Those patch <laughs> installs. Go yeah, Ponygonial. The reality, though, is that the SSD is just one piece just of the There's mini. a lot of places where bottlenecks can occur in between. We're still SSD. talking about SSDs. <laughs> it's still going on. You can see this on PlayStation 4. If I use an SSD with 10 times the speed of a standard hard drive, I probably see only double the loading speed, if that. Uh -huh. For PlayStation 5, our goal was not just that the SSD itself... So if this thing's going to be backwards compatible with PS4 games, will it make the PS4 games run quicker? Like, will they, will they load quicker? Because I still haven't got a PS4 and I'm still considering waiting, but it really depends on quite a few things. Oh, not going to tricks. Oh, yeah, MB games. A few values are tweaked to check it in. And then it's an MB game for a really long time. Which this is, this, all these graphs just look like defrag screens. Moving the data, meaning mm. copying it from one location to another, takes roughly an entire next gen CPU. How many cups of tea do you have to go through? Do you have to make to go through a defrag? <laughs> Let's find out together. We're going to show you how quickly the PlayStation 5 defrags. So to solve all of that, we built a lot of a custom, custom flash, flash controller. Really you may want to stock up on your tea and, and coffee. And a number of custom units <laughs> in our main shop. Buy 50 packs of 80 pack tea bags. Designed yeah. for smooth and bottleneck free operation, but also with games in mind. For example, there are six I am starting to wonder if these consoles are actually going to get delayed to Priority next year. Because I think they were supposed to come out at the end of this year, but I reckon like the manufacturing world has yeah. probably been yeah. hit quite a bit lately. Yeah, and I mean, China are already starting to uh, pull together. Yeah, they're starting to get back to some Having form of normality. But still, immediately. curious where this is all going. On one side, that flash controller connects to the actual flash dyes that supply the storage. <laughs> I don't really know. This is pretty much what I was expecting. I don't know why I, I bothered to do this as a live stream, but I guess we'll see. Just in case he goes, oh look, here's here's a game, here's a tech demo. I just want to see some tech demos, just show us what the graphics will be like. Even Microsoft have been doing that lately. They've been showing like Minecraft with ray tracing and stuff. I mean, that's something. And we have a responsibility to our gaming audience to be cost effective with regards to what we play in the mix. console. Ultimately, we resolve this question by looking at the play patterns of a broad range of gamers. We examined the specific games. <laughs> this is diesel fast. This talking point ain't. <laughs> and whether Let's talk about how fast they are forever. 
We were able to establish this really doesn't look 1080p to me. This is really fuzzy, but re-downloads would be quite it's probably because I'm streaming so at the same time as watching the stream. <laughs> While also preparing yeah, because basically this was supposed to be a talk at GDC, story, but obviously GDC got cancelled or postponed, mm. so they just ended up That's filming it and putting it out anyway. Yeah, I think it's like a premiere, so it's like pre-recorded. So he's not doing this live, technically. <laughs> Next live stream, 4K has more pixels than 1080 Let's talk compression for a moment. Oh, that's did. Yeah. We decided to use That's it again one. on PlayStation 5, but on my 2017 tour of developers, I learned about a new format called Kraken from Rad Game Tools. Oh, it's okay. like Zealib's smarter cousin. Basically, so we pour some Kraken into it, and then it, it runs faster somehow. Better compression, which is pretty big. It compresses better. More it's all right, but a Kraken... I wouldn't mind compressing some Kraken right about now. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. And also compressing Kraken as a boss in the Shining Force. We're getting ready to evaluate. No, I'd rather, so we hustled I'd rather, I'd rather and built a custom. Yeah. But yeah, compressing <laughs> some uh, one capable of cracking and a bit of apple juice would be nice. Mm. I could have had some last night, but I wasn't After sure how much it was, so I got Morgan instead. I was working that night, but then I had wine the night before, so we're Ravens. Even Stevens. You can put the tallies next to each other. That custom heat compressor equates to none of our Zen 2 cores. That's what it would take to decompress the crack and string. Can you imagine if, like, Nintendo did a stream like this? <laughs> right, so let's explain how our, uh, how we basically got an NVIDIA shield and uh, that was about it. Its primary purpose is to remove check-in as a bottleneck. There's two dedicated I.O. co-processors in a large RAM pool. Ugh. These aren't Zen 2 cores. They're, they're principally yeah, direct to the right. Yeah, this is some right waffle. I mean, I remember them doing this for the PS4, but even that had some stuff, I think. I could have sworn that was when they first showed Dreams. Like, they first showed Dreams at the PS4 reveal. And all that might have been the big conference thing. I might be getting confused with this and that. And this too can become... Oh yeah, the cardboard audience. Yeah, there's clearly no audience the there. Issue you know, no the mass gatherings. Or the um. <laughs> Let's just put some cardboard cutouts. You'll see it. Be like um. Was it was it the Dreamcast who was a millionaire that had no audience? That just straight up had no audience. Had no audience. That game was ahead of its time. Yeah. Where the coherency engines. Cash scrubbers. Oh yeah, crack cash scrubbers. <laughs> I'm so glad the PS5 is confirmed to have cash scrubbers. <laughs> The best thing is, as a game developer, when you read it, oh, you don't need to know Yeah, you'll see the cardboard audience in a minute. It's, it's literally like three heads. It does, it does straight because up look like mystery science theater. You like to read from your original uncompressed file and where you like to put it, and the whole process of loading it happens invisibly to you and at very high speed. Back to the dream. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there's four, didn't I? <laughs> they are. Oh, no, wait, move! They're real people! They're real people! <laughs> The bump. The dream of no load screens and super fast so, um, Myth busted. Yeah. They're not cardboard. Expanded Unless they're animate, uh, animated, animated cup. Maybe they're like shadow puppets. <laughs> Maybe they're like Captain Pugwash, like. Just like. <laughs> Well, they are after affected. Nah, they, they are straight up real people, man. If you man. have an extensive PlayStation 4 library and you'd like to take advantage of backwards compatibility to play those games on PlayStation 5, then a large external hard drive is ideal. I also you think Sony might be green screened on, on that background. And directly from there, thus saving the pricier SSD storage for your PlayStation 5 titles, or you can copy your active PlayStation 4 titles to the SSD. If your purpose okay. in adding more storage is to play PlayStation 5 titles, though, ideally you would add to your SSD storage. We will be supporting oh certain Oh boy, M3 here we go. SSDs. These are are they going to do what Microsoft did and go, oh, here's some extra little memory cards at proprietary. As for which ones we support and when, I'll get to that in a moment. Oh, so they're saying it'll they be compatible with other SSDs, kind of like how PS3s so and 4s were compatible with other HDDs. That'd be alright if you could just put a bigger one in that you can get cheap somewhere. Here's the catch though. That Here's commercial the catch. drive has to be at least as fast as ours. 
Games that rely on the speed of our SSD need to work flawlessly with any M2 drive. When I gave them a wired sense. interview last year, I said that the PlayStation 5 mm, waffle, SSD waffle, 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 faster waffle. than anything available. I could do with some waffles. At the time, not this kind of waffle, but I could do with some, some waffles. Oh, and four well, lanes and of that still out at some uh, straight waffles. Oh, did they? In other words, that, no PCIe 3.0 drive can yeah. hit the required. You get any? <laughs> no. M2 drives with PCIe 4.0 no, are now out of the market. No, but I've got two packets of Minestrogi's cup soup for like 10p a packet. Four or five gigabytes a second for me. By year's end, I expect there will be drives. See, oh, okay. See we have been actually been able to get some food that? in some we shops. Yeah, some of them have actually been okay with stocking stuff. Right, Aldi's been all right. Yeah, for some things, uh, it's just for have been okay. Mm, Iceland, and Iceland was terrible. <laughs> it was literally nothing. And that scheme is pretty nice. Good thing we've got that for us, eh? Yeah. I feel like the entirety of whatever's going to replace E3 is going to be like this. Just green screen people, green screen audience. The lady in the corner, or the man with long hair, is getting quite uh, twitchy just then. She's like, oh, God's sake. <laughs> Stop talking about SSDs! Inside of the bay we created in PlayStation 5 for M2 drives. Unlike internal hard drives, there's unfortunately yeah, no that's one thing I liked about the PS3 was the fact that you could just get a cheap laptop hard drive and stick that in it, and it was, you know, much. So basically what you could do with the PS3 is you could buy whatever one had the smallest hard drive in it and then just replace the hard drive with a big one instead of paying up the arse for one with a big hard drive already in it. It's pretty good. To make sure that the architecture of particular M2 drives isn't too foreign for the to Online delivery for ASDO is all taken up for a month. We should be what? Able to start so you're not going to get anything which for a drives month? Will physically fit and which drive samples have benchmarked appropriately high in our test. How long does it be? <laughs> it would be great if that happened by launch, but it's likely right. to be a bit past it. So, so please hold off on getting that M2 drive until so you hear from us. Just reading that, okay. I'm thinking... Back to our principles. <sighs> Balancing evolution and revolution is the second of them. This was definitely a recurring theme. You didn't balance Evolution Studios very well, did you, Sony? Hey, you didn't, didn't balance them very well. It's not really a shut down. Of, console. Hmm. of course, many of these capabilities result in more performance. That's part of why a PlayStation 5 teraflop is more powerful than a I was going to say, uh, I think this is technically live, or it's a premiere, so this is the first time they're showing it. But that could not have been done This before. is so exciting, though. And we need higher performance for what? Every time we double the performance of some GPU component, we yeah, don't want Yeah, that's roughly what I did as well. I got, we got like the small, but the, the smallest the hard drive PS3. Sure I forget, like a little big Planet 2 bundled with it. Oh, and, and then we stuck like a 500 gig hard drive in it or something like that. Oh, now, I remember that was compatibility with AMD. They We'd like to still get a four, maybe, but they design. still haven't come down in price for a system that's technically on its way out within the next year. Sure that it's not going cheap yet. Features, it would be optional to use them. The GPU supports ray tracing, but you don't have to use ray tracing to make your game. The GPU don't supports primitive shaders, but you can release your first game on PlayStation Five without making oh, any firm to try that. Ray tracing. Before I get to try that. Um, I'd like to make a clear two points. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> well, I think we could hear you. <laughs> First, we have a custom a AMD week. GPU a week. based a on week. their RDNA 2 technology. Mm, What's that sorry about all the blooming... AMD is what? continuously improving and revising their tech. How for slow RDNA is this? It's all right. I don't normally do live streams in the middle of the day. <laughs> the Usually I do them in the evening. <laughs> ...data close to where it's needed. To optimize the GPU for performance... Shenmue 4, yeah. More that's more definitely going to happen. But that feature set is malleable, which is to say that we have our, on our own needs for updates, <laughs> and that can factor into what the AMD roadmap becomes. So collaboration is born. If we bring concepts to AMD that are felt to be widely useful, then they can be adopted into RDNA 2 and used broadly, including in PC GPUs. If the ideas are sufficiently specific to what we're You know what, I wish I did one of the, like the, the salt or hype things or when uh, them Japanese streams were the revealing the Mega Drive mini games. Because, oh my god, I was so hype. That was like the most hype I've been in a long time. Like, when they were showing stuff like Musha and World of Illusion and friggin' Tetris, I was just going bananas. Introducing technology useful in both worlds. 
it doesn't mean that we as Sony simply incorporated the PC part into our console. Yes. This continuous improvement in AMD. Oh no, the PS4's got a flop. To rely on terrible, it was a flop. An absolute indicator of performance. Oh great, we get out. What was I saying earlier about? Oh, it's just it's basically going to be him going. Oh, teraflops. Well, here we go. <laughs> Here's your teraflops. Each have eight CPUs, but we never think that meant the capabilities and performance are equal. It's the How to fall asleep by so the one thing they've been getting the road much to bed. <laughs> adding new features means adding lots the of transitions. Road to bed. Yeah. In fact, uh, the transition oh, was this when well, um, I need to get to sleep for like really early morning, morning jobs? <laughs> well, it's here now, so next time you do need to do that. Second, just put this on. Just put this on. <laughs> backwards compatible with PlayStation Four. What does that mean? One way you can achieve Oh, okay, backwards back up to the previous console. Right, is it going to have backwards compatibility with everything? Come on, come on, come on. We need to know this, because this will make me consider one. A better way is to incorporate any differences in the previous console's logic into the new console's custom chips. Meaning that even as the technology evolves, the logic and feature sets that PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro titles rely on... Go on, squeeze the other ones in there, go on, go on, just stick PS3, 2, 1... One of the strategy is that once backwards compatibility is in the console, it's in. It's not as if a cost down will remove back. Go on, squeeze, there's some room on that hard drive, that circuit board for some others. Come on. I mean, it's good that it does PS4 games, but come on, <laughs> I want to retire this PS3. <laughs> it's getting old and tired. I think the hard drive's slowing down. The boost is truly massive this time around, and some game code just can't handle it. Testing has to be done on a title by title basis. In other words, we won't be able to put every single PS4 game on it even. And we're expecting almost all of them to be playable. Almost. Almost. With regards yeah, to the like how as I said, <laughs> almost. I can't even promise full PS4 compatibility. In other words, that's kind of like how Jesus. almost every PS1 game was made backwards compatible with a PS2. On yeah, but I mean, like one or two. <laughs> there was like two or three that didn't work. Like or I think there was like a Midway Classics collection that didn't work. That means it's not possible. Wait, you can play Tombi on a PS2. Such as aborting processing of the vertex if all geometry that uses it is off screen. I guess that's all the backwards compatibility stuff five, is already moved up. Oh no, look, it's shattered. <gasps> it turned into a brain. It's been turned into a galaxy brain. The geometry is now brains. There are loads of hundreds of little polygonal brains inside the PS5. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, this is where galaxy brain comes in. Yeah, it will have galaxy brains built in. new intelligence in various ways. Simple usage could be performance optimization, such as removing backface or off-screen vertices and triangles. More complex usage. Oh, look at this part of the brain. Primitive, primitive shaders. Synthesize geometry. They do look pretty primitive. As it's, being it's a brand new capability. This is like, the, yeah, this is like your primal urges at the back of your brain. <laughs> including smoothly varying level of detail. Addition of procedural yeah, they kind of lost me ages ago, objects, but I might as well keep going. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it could have been better to do Another today. Another major new feature of our custom DNA 2-based GPU is ray tracing, using the same strategy as AMD. Oh, so this will barely handle 1080p 30 frames per second, but it will be there. This specialized <laughs> unit called the intersection engine, which can calculate the intersection of rays with Not quite as catchy as the emotion engine. To use the intersection like engine, First, you build what is called intersection station. station or it's data in RAM that contains oh, all of oh, the we got, um, There's a, a cover of, of a formats you blank can use. VHS variations um, on the same <laughs> sleeve now. Or a Coldplay <laughs> album. <laughs> that's the new Coldplay <laughs> album's <laughs> cover. And that's probably the title as well, Acceleration <laughs> Structure. <laughs> well, they just put one out, surely. <laughs> they got another one already. <laughs> The shaders are free to do other well, This is their next Having one. Said that, Exclusive the to the PlayStation 5. Pretty memory yeah. intensive, so Planted. it's a good mix. Yeah. You can't take it out at all. <sighs> There's of course no need to use Let's Ray explain PS4 Ray graphics needs. engines will run just fine on PlayStation 5. What? But it presents an opportunity Full ray tracing just games. means everything disappears apparently. <laughs> it'll take less than a million rays a second to have a big impact on audio. That See, should be enough for this is what I named Rayman after. Yeah, for some reason. Which <laughs> the GPU full ray tracing. ray tracing. It should be possible Almost to do some very nice global illumination. <laughs> Having said that, 
adding ray traced shadows and reflections to, to its be fair i think they will eventually maybe around sort of e3ish time they might actually do how far can we go a proper ps5 reveal because uh, as i say they definitely did this for the playstation 4 as well they did the exact same thing but i could have sworn they showed like Knack, maybe the they might have shown knack <laughs> of all things yeah like when they launched titles when they did this because it was his game he directed it so. i have a new game knack free galaxy brain coming up in general, Galaxy like Brain, they actually show the console. Let me show you why. They literally showed there like pictures of each comp each PlayStation and then when they showed the PlayStation 5, it was just the logo. <laughs> this is a thought experiment. Don't take these configurations. I mean, do Nintendo do streams about their tech full stop? No. They don't really but actually, they don't really have much to show off. <laughs> teraflops. Yeah, teraflops. Love me some teraflops. That's just one part of the GPU. I'll, I'll take at there least four at uh, four and, and a half teraflops, please. Frequency is higher. Yeah, just don't copy it. Yeah. Mm. Don't copy those floppies. Don't copy those teraflopies. Basically, uh, it's a terrible amount of and floppy disks. So About the only downside disks. is that system memory is 33% further away in terms of cycles. But the large number yes. of <laughs> more than counts. Yes. <laughs> As a friend of mine, exactly. Said, <laughs> He's really, Understood. Also, he's really starting to look like he wants to ask if he can go in now. Yeah. I don't know. I think he could do this. I think he could rattle run like this all day, and I think he will. <laughs> so there's a lot to be said for faster. Assuming I, I programmed Marble Madness. Let me talk about Marble. I, I'd rather he just talked about Marble Madness. <laughs> Part of the reason for that is, historically... <gasps> Guns and cars and uh, Plague Inc. confirmed for PlayStation 5. Mm. All electrical power games will consume. Yeah, for and your, how much heat will be produced. Uh, highest power consumption is an axe. Apparently axes are the highest power consumption of any game. <laughs> any yeah, game with axes in it. Yeah, axes, yeah, more, more so than cars and biohazards. Yeah. But power isn't simply. I mean, to be fair, cars power. are actually quite it's easy to do because they're like, basically, basically just a lump with wheels that moves, rotate. So, dense geometry yeah. typically I guess that makes sense. I don't know about the pickaxe, though. <laughs> no, it's literally just a thing that doesn't have any energy. It's usually quite small, aren't they? Yeah. It's usually quite because that makes the difference with game crap. Our process on previous consoles has been I have no idea what they're talking about. Maximum power consumption during the entire Basically, that's an image of how much noise the, the PlayStation 4 case, Pro makes like case, on high power consumption those are sound waves we think will be quiet at that power level if we get it right design point. fan noise is minimal if we get it wrong the console will be quite loud for the higher power games and there's yeah, even a chance that's that certainly a known thing with the PS4 <laughs> Oh, have you got a have you got a PNG? Have you got a transparent PNG of the mystery science guys? Can I has it? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna look for one. Presumably only minimal. I got it. Or are they? If we plan for major 256-bit instruction usage, we need to set the CPU clock substantially lower, or noticeably increase the size of the power supply and fan. So. After much discussion, we decided to go with a very different direction on PlayStation 5. Let's have we a look. built a GPU with 36 CUs. Mind you, our DNA 2 CUs are yes. large. Each has 60 this is looking for a specific more transistors thing, yeah. than the CUs we were using yes. on PlayStation yeah. 4. Yeah. There we go. So, if we compare transistor counts, 36 oh, RDNA it's Pinterest. CUs equates to roughly Oh gosh, yeah, um, CUs. It is a fairly um, I'll grab that one. No, 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 this one's fine. Then we went with a variable this will do. strategy for PlayStation 5. Just, just give me the image. Why is Google Images so hard nowadays? In boost mode. We supply um, a generous amount of electrical power. There we go. And then increase the frequency Save of the GPU and CPU until they reach the capabilities no. of the system. You, you can tell what I'm about to do, but it's it needs to be done. I know they might overlap with everything else here, but it's fine. We run at essentially constant power and let the frequency ba vary based on the workload. We then tackle the engineering challenge of a cost-effective and high-performance cooling solution designed for that specific power level. 
In some ways, it becomes a simpler problem because there are no more unknowns. There's no need to guess what power consumption the worst case game might have. Average right. okay. job, but there we go. Solution. That'll work. Saving them for our teardown. Mm-hmm. I think you'll be quite happy yeah. with what the engineering team came up with. So, <laughs> done. Can we run the GPU and CPU with this strategy? The simplest approach would be to look so at the actual temperature of the silicon die and throttle the frequency on that basis. But they won't work. <laughs> if we get Sue along with green screening, you could recreate this whole presentation, could I? <laughs> I'd have to remember the script. There's a quite a lot to remember. So rather than look at the oh, actual good. temperature no. of the silicon die, we look at the activities that the GPU and CPU are performing and set the frequencies <laughs> on that. Basis. We're just going to leave that there. That, that works. While we're at it, we also use AMD's smart shift technology and send any unused power from the CPU to the GPU so it can squeeze out a few more pixels. The benefits of this Most strategy are, on Google. are quite large. Running a GPU at 2 GHz was looking like an unreachable target Perfect. with the old fixed frequency strategy. With this new I mean, we're, cr- we're cropping off very important information here. Like, what does that say? Free, free caps? So that we can frick, guarantee cat. that the on-chip line like, operates properly. It's important, it's important information. 36 CUs at 2.3 oh, teraflops. teraflops. And we expect the GPU That's to a lot of teraflops. At or close to. That's at least 10 teraflops. Similarly, running with a little bit extra for, for, was causing for headaches measure. With the old strategy. But now we can run it as high as 3.5 gigahertz. You could always make it In fact, semi-transparent. It spends or most of its time at that frequency. That doesn't mean all games will be running at 2.23 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz. When that worst case game arrives, it will run at a lower clock speed, but not too much lower. To reduce power by 10%, it only takes a couple of percent reduction in frequency, so I'd expect any down clocking to be pretty minor. All things considered, the change to a variable frequency approach will show significant Oops. gains for PlayStation gamers. The final of our key principles was about finding new <sighs> It's important for us to find new ways to expand or deepen gaming, and that's what led us to a focus on 3D audio. Finding new dreams. As players, that's easy. You just boot up dreams and s- use the and search function. We right? the controller. I still want to play dreams. Or oh. I almost thought it died then. <laughs> what a shame if it died. What a shame if this stream just support, collapsed. The impact of audio is huge as well. At the same time, the audio team on a game project has to do a lot with a little. For example, on PlayStation 4, there's fierce competition for the Jaguar CPU cores. Audio the Jaguar? It's going to be... Just a fraction it, of the core. Its main rival is the Jaguar? Of a Are Atari making a new Jaguar? Consider that the visuals run at 30 or 60 Jaguar percent, Mini. But audio processing needs to happen. When are they going to make a Jaguar Mini? Times. Yeah, 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 put that, um... So, for it's been tough going, making guy, progress game, on audio yeah. with PlayStation What's that game 4, called? Particularly when PlayStation 3... Terry McFur? <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> they got to put, they've got to put the Amiga CD so Highlander game on, on there. Really take advantage Go away! And frequently reached 100% and, uh, utilization of the floating point. Media. Yeah. There's unfortunately Kasumi nothing comparable on Ninja, whatever it's called. Probably the most dramatic VR. progress in the PlayStation 4 generation has been with virtual reality. Yeah, I'm kind of VSVR curious to see how much better VR audio. might be. It supports about 50 pretty decent 3D sound sources. And this mm. provides a hint 50 sound to where sources. we can go with One of them is as well <laughs> as some valuable experience. One of the sound sources is <laughs> Not to oversimplify, but here were our goals, goals for audio, audio on PlayStation mm. 5. The first goal was great, great audio, audio for all. all. Not oh, brilliant. I was, I was, I was worried I was going to get one and be like, no that good audio for you, it's bad. Sorry, your crazy. one's just got bad audio. The second goal was to support hundreds of sound sources. We didn't want developers to have to pick and choose what sounds would get 3D effects and but, which ones. <laughs> we wanted every sound in the game to have dimensionality. Every sound is 3D. And finally, we wanted to really take <laughs> the challenges of lights <laughs> and locality. Originally, they now, couldn't uh, have 3 d dimensionality to uh, fart noises, but now they can. Oh, look at all these buttons! The idea it's like the Matrix, but PlayStation. Sound, and instead use lots of 3D audio sources for raindrops hitting the ground at all sorts of locations around you, then at some point your brain would like, take a and you'd begin to have this feeling. 
this feeling of real presence in oh, the virtual good. world. Mm, it's alright, but um, this has the capacity to no affect your appreciation good, of the game. Like, audio, and just like um, music, can ever get, music does. I won't be able to hear the half of it. The concept of vocality is simpler. It's just your sense of where the audio is yeah. coming from, to the right of you, behind you, above you. This can unless they do that you. thing where it can also it's like it sort of like gameplay. touches like your skull to use and then vibrates on your skull and then you hear it that way. Mm, that is becoming a thing now. I forget what they call it now, bone or something. Back in the day, if you played the game using oh, those speakers, um, you could tell that there was space. one last thing growl. <laughs> it's the first video down, game we've seen. This is dead space for reasons. Somewhere on the right, which lets you deduce dead space. Or free confirmed? But with no, it's just an old game. Good locality, Here's a random old game that we didn't even make. <laughs> there, and you turn there. and you take it out. So, there is dead space. Do we know where there it is. is coming from in the first place. Well, all those bumps and folds in the ear have a meaning. And all those like microphone Based scuffles when you move your hand. <laughs> sound waves bounce around inside the ear. There's some constructive and destructive interference, and the result is a change in volume. The phase of the sound also shifts depending on what path the sound wave took to reach the ear canal. These volume changes, yeah, and phase shifts, one are of different from each direction, <laughs> and also vary depending on the frequency of the sound. Head size and head shape also. You're going to need at least five fashion. ears to hear all the sound the on this thing, to be fair. Judging on by the how much sound it has, it has so much sound. So much sound. HRTF. Here's part of one. You know, assuming the that um, the frequency. The unilateral hearing loss never existed. Mm. Right, and the color yeah. gives the degree <laughs> of attenuation of the sound at that frequency. The HRTF is as unique to an that, You know, that's why they got rid of 3D. Fact, you're looking at 3D mind. glasses and stuff because not Here's everyone has two eyes. An HRTF. We've taken hundreds of people through this process. Oh, this way with a toilet roll in. Sony stole it all. The they, bought, they hoarded it all so they could make this sound stage. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I looking at? It looks like that contraption from South Park. In that course bike of thing. Or 20 minutes, we're able to sample the HRTF <laughs> at over 1,000. I bet people are making that comparison on Twitter right now, yeah. within the next five it's seconds. Computationally expensive. Oh, now we've got a crystal dome again. Crystal dome. Process a sound source to make it. Yeah, VR crystal maze game would be all right, actually. Unfortunately, the processing has to be done in frequency domain rather than time Still domain. About so sound. there's multiple fast Fourier transforms needed for every sound source for every audio tick. That's a lot of multiplies. This computational it certainly looks like a lot of multiplies. Factor for our I, I could tell. We had to bite I could tell by looking at it how many multiplies there were <laughs> for 3D audio. Collectively, we're referring to the hardware unit. When are we going to do a salt or hype that actually is hype? <laughs> Because so far they've both been the sold. Yes, a new Tempest! Audio. Yes! <laughs> For the Vectrex 2! <laughs> it suggests a certain intensity of experience. I love and Tempest. Also Tempest is great. Within. We're calling the hardware unit that we built the Tempest engine. It's based on. So, Jaguar, Tempest. Are you sure this isn't by Atari? <laughs> as to make it very close to the SPUs in PlayStation 3. Atari so has been, ideal for audio, has purchased Sony. So the Tempest engine has no caches, just like an SPU. All <laughs> Look at the thing we will never have at home. <laughs> just like an SPU. What, the big toilet roll dome thing? target was that it would have more power than a CPU, thanks to the parallelism that a GPU well, can achieve. And then webcam's getting darker as the day GPU goes on. Thanks to the we should put lights on. The goal being to make Jeez. possible near 100% utilization How long has this been going? CU's vector units. Where we ended up... It's been going for almost an hour. Oh, that's much better. There we go. You can actually see us now. You can see how bored, disappointed we faces. As I say, that's enough pretty much knew what this was going to be, but I just thought to stream it anyway. But of course, we want to use more complex algorithms, and we don't need anything like that number of sounds. It would have been wonderful if a simpler strategy, such as using Dolby Atmos peripherals, could have achieved our goals, but we wanted 3D audio for all, not just those with licensed sound bars or the like. Yeah, some kind of also, we wanted many yeah, hundreds yeah. of sound sources, not just... I see how good the focus is on this ports. is, and, finally, and make people hungry. Overwhelming amount of processing mm, it's not, a, uh, it's, not it's still focusing on me. <laughs> all right, never mind. In fact, 
With the Tempest engine, we've even got enough power that we can allocate some to the games. To the extent that games want to make use of Convolution Reaver and other algorithms that are either <laughs> computationally expensive or need high bandwidth. But the primary purpose of the Tempest engine... So is this like how... Um, now, some audio games audio on like old consoles actually use the sound driver to, to no one push graphics or something. And the set of algorithms that has to be invented, tuned, or implemented to realize our vision for 3D audio is immense. For example, use of HRTFs in games is quite complex. Before, I talked about making a sound source appear as if it's coming uh, from one of those thousand HRTF sample locations. But for high quality 3D Look at all audio, this. We Look at it all. Ramp up, ramp down. The sound source might not be at one of the thousand HRTF sample locations. So we have to blend the HRTF data from the closest locations that we have sent. Ramp up. The sound ramp source down, might be moving, ramp which means all around. very special handling as that blend keeps changing and that can cause phase artifacts in the resulting audio. Or the sound source might have a size to it. It just looks like the diagrams you had to do in like rather than B tech in school. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's also oh, whole whole categories, categories of approaches to oh, that. Three D audio can be. No, in like science class when you had to do like all the little illustrations sources. of like clicking but things. But like, this switch turns this on. And this oh yeah. Switch. <laughs> it's like it's all just spherical ons and offs basically. And finally, there's audio devices. Yep, there was some, so, there was like some like speakers. Headphones or TV speakers or have a higher end surround sound set up with six or more Can speakers. They, um, all of which need different find sound. a way to make it so modern That's TVs don't make issues. rhythm games nice really to have hard the to play. <laughs> resources of the Tempest engine, but it's clear that achieving our ultimate goals with 3D audio is going to be a multi year, step by step process. Having said that, headphone audio implementation is largely complete at this time. Uh, it was a natural place for us to start. With headphones, we control exactly what each ear hears, and therefore the algorithmic development and implementation are more straightforward. For oh, TV speakers, happy, no? and oh, yeah. speakers, we're in the process of implementing from... virtual surround sound. The idea being that if you're sitting in a suite, I can't see. TV, I can't see Mark turning. Sound can be made to feel as if it's in any him. direction, even behind you. Virtual surround sound has a lot in common with 3D audio on headphones, but it's more complex because the left ear can hear the right speaker and vice versa. We, have a we flip them for reasons. The virtual surround sound I, I assume there's a reason. We're now looking at increasing the size of that sweet spot, which is to say, making the area you need to be in to feel the 3D effect What kind larger. of TV has so like to boost the sense of weird... Headphone audio is the side. gold standard for 3D audio on PlayStation 5. But we're going to see what we can do to bring virtual surround sound to a similar level, after which we'll start in on setups with more some speakers, speakers, such as six-channel surround sound. A few more I think we know what it's surround sound is. It's <laughs> some of the PlayStation 5 games in development are extensively using these systems. One of the game demos allows you to toggle between conventional PlayStation 4-style stereo audio and our new 3D audio. I listened with just I don't ordinary think pair of surround sound is a new thing. <laughs> I think I it's been around it. for a while. Stereo audio has that dimensional feel to it. Conventional stereo audio. Oh, is everyone going to start installing like six speakers the around their room and then not use them again? So, <laughs> a big advancement, but but like we did at one point. We had a bunch of speakers in our own house uh, uh, around the backs of our sofas and stuff, and it didn't last long because we didn't really bother using. Well, the answer is no. But you've probably caught on to what's missing here. Are we going to show off the PlayStation 5 HRTF in any way other than tech? The answer is mine. no. It was the default HRTF. The audio team analyzed the hundreds that they measured. This is my the HTF, HRTF. The total game playing audio. Mine. This the Cerny one. Named it after me. Because it's mine. My HRTF on the right. Look, it's got less green on it. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's, it's mine. A, it's a bit, it's a bit warmer. With the default HRTF, it's a bit warmer. Said, the 3D audio is kind of great. warmer. When I use in my spots. HRTF, though, the audio reaches a, a higher level. It just looks like a reading, background from Top which Banana. Which is to say that when oh, using God. headphones in my yeah. HRTF, yeah. I occasionally get. I really want to do a mega stream, but I need to get my CD32 fixed. When it's actually yeah. coming. I guess I should probably just talk about a like live streaming. I want to try and do live streams sufficiently far semi regularly at the moment, seeing as I've got the tight red to do so. That they can toggle between PS4 <coughs> style and PS5 style audio and not sense much difference. I've had <laughs> this is where he lives. This is this is Cerny's like Cerny's location. That's his planet, and that's our default is our planet, I guess. 
which means I've been playing No Man's Sky. This is my planet. Season. I named it after me. I'd like everyone to be able to experience what I'm experiencing, but obviously it's not possible to measure the HRTF of every no, PlayStation user. No one can experience that my means HRTF because it's mine. And synthesis are going to be big topics going forward as the Tempest technology matures. At PlayStation 5 launch, we'll be offering the choice of five HRTFs. There's a, a simple what? test where you pick the one that gives you the best locality. That's just the first step, though. This isn't what? open <laughs> research topic. When you buy a PlayStation 5, you can choose we'll from five different network to pick the closest HRTFs. HTRFs. <laughs> TTFM and Tata for now. <laughs> and we'll make a no full idea. model of them and synthesize the HRTF. Maybe you'll play an audio uh, game to tune your HRTF. Will be subtly so you go into you go into PC world, you buy a PlayStation 5, and they go, ah, oh, what HTRF would you like with that? We'll install that for you. This is a, a journey we'll all be taking together over the next few years. Ultimately, we're committing to... Yeah. Experience <laughs> like, the indie one was merely okay. Like, add some fatally interesting Hopefully games Hopefully, I've been able it. to illustrate a bit about our design and decision-making process today. We got the look at that we one that was like a shmup and a breakout game. Now that comes was the fun right. part. We get to see how Sky the development community takes breakout advantage or something of that like that. feature set. That looks great. I'm hoping for the completely unexpected. Will it come from audio, Expect ray tracing, the capabilities Expect of the SSD, or something else? I guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I guess. You. Uh, it's your freaking... Oh yeah, my it's your god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> that audience can go. Oh, oops. oh yeah. Let's watch some more. Um, let's watch some more uh, scam baiters. <laughs> that was that. That was that. <laughs> So what do you think, guys? Salt or hype? Was it hype for you? It was very hype for me. 10.3 teraflops, man. That's a lot of teraflops. Oh, wow. Look at that. Up next, the stream we're doing now. <laughs> that's that's pretty weird. Yeah, look. Up next. What would happen if I clicked on that? Would it just show me watching me? <laughs> Well, you'll see for oh, right. ah, <laughs> us. Oh, yeah, there's lots of more, um, there's lots of more, uh, <laughs> How's that? Nah. Alright, get out of it. Oh. <laughs> Look at this guy looking all shocked. He's so shocked. He's so shocked about what they're going to reveal. Look, I bet that's him right now. He's like, 10.3 teraflops, <gasps> man. Why is this? Why has this P why has this one got just like Xbox logos all over it? Yep, that's what the PS5 looks like, definitely. No, they they sh they actually showed the PS5. The PS5 is just a big plastic logo. Mm. They showed it at one point, and they just didn't want to actually um, let anyone know. Mm -hmm. How's that? <laughs> that was that was exciting stuff, man. <coughs> Party time! Excellent. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming to watch that with us. I guess. Like, thanks for hanging out with us. If we were on our own, I probably would have just <coughs> stopped. <laughs> I think I'll go stop the stream because my <coughs> young coughing. <coughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to have uh, my shower. <laughs> See you later, guys. I've got the virus. <laughs> I haven't though. I I I don't have it yet. I've got the virus. <laughs> I haven't though. I I I don't have it yet.